Within Salesforce, each flow can have up to 50 versions. Once you hit this limit, you will not be able to create any additional versions until you delete old versions from the system. To do this manually in the UI, you need to view a flow's details and versions, and next to each version you want to delete, press on the delete button. This can be time consuming when you have up to 50 versions of a flow. So I'm going to show you how to do this programmatically using Salesforce Inspector Reloaded. In this case, I need to consider two flow properties. In this example, I'm going to use the flow label, which is this, and I'm also going to use the fact that the active version is 14. What I'm about to show you will permanently delete old versions of the flow. So make sure that you want to do this before you proceed or you have a backup somewhere else of the previous versions. I'm going to expand Salesforce Inspector Reloaded and press on Data Export. From this screen, I want to write a query that uses the tooling API. This query will use the flows label and the fact that version 14 is currently active. Once you've constructed your query, your results will look something like this. We're selecting the ID, master label, version number from flow, where the master label equals the label that we copied earlier and the version number is not 14. Now that I want to delete these flow versions from the system permanently, I'm going to press delete records. From here, I need to set the batch size to 10 as the Salesforce API appears to have a limit that only allows you to delete 10 versions of a flow at a time. Now that I'm happy, I'm going to run my delete action. And now I can see that all old versions of my flow have been deleted. Back on the Salesforce org, I can now review my flow, look at the details and versions, and I can see that all of the old versions have now been removed from the system.